As we come to the end of another busy term at Colleton Grammar School, I'd like to thank all of the staff and the students and parents who have helped make the school life more interesting. The summer term can often be characterised by examinations, but there's been a wide range of other extracurricular activities and opportunities, and here are the people who made them happen to tell you about them. Who's written a story like that before? Don't <laughs> lie to oh, me! Come on. Teachers, yeah! <laughs> What sort did you do then? Story? In year eight, uh, the students have to learn how to write and shape a story. Um, and we invited the two Steves to talk to students um, and later in the day to give a workshop. This is Year 11 Enterprise Day, and um, today we have the ICAEW coming in to work with all of the Year 11s on a business decision making tasks and um, they work together we look at communication skills they have to think about why they've chosen certain decisions and they also have to work with people that perhaps they wouldn't normally choose to work with also last week we looked at year seven and year nine enterprise days where year seven had to come up with a new menu for tick five watch out duncan um, and year nine who had to look at a, an alternative use of the cultural hall out of school hours to look at making so we can make some money out of it all hypothetical of course um, hopefully they all enjoyed the days and uh, those awards will be given out today. I had a really busy uh, and exciting term this term. Um, we just literally finished doing Year 9 productions last night. Um, some short plays which they did for parents and friends um, which were really good fun and I hopefully will set them up very well for their GCSE productions next year. We've had uh, other productions, exam productions. Billy Liar was the AS production, and um, GCSE productions as well, um, which all went really well. Some wonderful theatre trips. I think perhaps the most memorable one this term was to see the Seagull um, in Bath with my year 11s. It's my last term this term. I'm due to retire. Uh, and it's nice to feel that the drama department is really thriving, lots of extracurricular things going on, um, a lot of stuff outside the exam syllabus. Well, we've had a great term in the music department here, showing our diversity and all the range of things that we do. We started off the term with our amazing performance of Messiah in Exeter Cathedral. Then that was backed up with our annual summer concert with a range of things from different groups. We had a great time with a visiting musician, John Miles. He came in and did an improvisation workshop, uh, which went down a treat with all the students who took part in that. We've had house music. This is on the up as well. Year 7, 8 and 9 have done special events for that, and we're opening it up next year to the sixth form. And it's the sixth form, in fact, who've been organising one of our end of term events, which is Battle of the Bands. It's going to involve a lot of people and a lot of noise. Then, in a week's time, we're looking forward to going to Lisbon for our annual choir tour. It's going to be hot, but we're singing in seven different venues, and we hope to have a great time. And much more music making to come in the next year. Every year, several students volunteer to read and review the books that have been shortlisted for the Carnegie um, Children's Book Award that year. Um, they meet every week in the library for uh, several weeks, and then just before the winner is actually announced, um, we hold a presentation event in the library where they present the books to an invited audience of school staff, um, older students who've done it before and local primary school children um, and they give their response to the books they've read um, and then they vote for their winner and this is the day before the actual winner is announced for real in London. This is Year 11 having a teamwork and leadership challenge day. It's been organised by the army so they've come in free, set it all up um, and already it looks like Year 11s are having a lot of fun in the sunshine. It's 
been a busy term in the art department. Um, as you can probably see, uh, we've had our art shows on. Um, GCSC was last week, A-Level this week. Uh, so it's been a busy time in terms of preparing, displaying works, um, and ultimately the shoots have been very, very busy. Uh, we've had lots of clubs going on. We've had um, our manga art club running and our animation club, which is run by the sick formers. So that's been really important, really impressive. This is the end of term now. It's a tired art teacher, but it's a happy art teacher. So um, hopefully people have come out to see the shows and appreciate all the hard work the students have gone to to complete it. The best thing for us really um, this term has been the weather. We've had no, nothing really cancelled, all events have gone according to plan. We've had excellent turnout at the club, so we've seen lots of students out um, trying out new sports and uh, getting better in the ones they do in class. Really good to see everyone out representing various houses in house tennis, house rounders. We've been to lots of different competitions this year. We went to the Devon Summer Games. We had um, the Orienteers, they came first in the score event and second in the relay. We also had our Year 9 Rounders team, they won the East Devon Rounders competition and then they went through to Devon Summer Games and were runners up in that, I'm really pleased with them. And Sports Day was something we were really, really pleased with, sort of highlight of our year. It was great to see all the staff out helping to officiate. So in the morning we had shot, discus and javelin and long jump and high jump. And in the afternoon, everyone's out, the whole school are out for the track events. And again, it's really good to see everyone pulling together, staff for timekeeping, marshalling. But it's just really good to see everyone out, enjoying themselves and seeing the students participating, competing against each other. It's a fantastic atmosphere. And I think it was a really, really good day. I'm hoping everybody enjoyed it. Finally, our under 18 girls tennis team traveled up to Sheffield for the um, national finals and they, they did really well, they won all their games bar one um, and that meant they were the national plate winners so that was a really really fantastic achievement and they should be really pleased, pleased with that.